acting legend Alison Steadman is using her time in lockdown to raise money for a cause very close to her heart. Yep, she'll be hosting a special Gavin and Stacey themed quiz to raise money for Marie Curie later this week. Let's, uh, let's hope that the night goes more smoothly than this one. <laughs> <laughs> and Alison joins us now. I hope your quiz master skills will be a lot better than that. It is lovely to see you. Hi there. Morning. Good morning. morning. So this, this is a great idea, actually. This is a part of a series of online events that are being held to raise money by, obviously, the charity at Marie Curie. Chris Kamara's done one, Annika Rice has done one. Your one, as we said, is taking place this Thursday on the 21st. How are you feeling about it? Are you quite nervous? I'm a little bit apprehensive, <laughs> but I want to do it because um, it's a great way of raising money for Marie Curie. And um, Marie Curie are desperate for some funds, you know, in this... Uh, awful time that we're living in, charities are all losing money and Marie Curie needs to make 2.5 million a week to keep nine hospices going and all their hundreds and hundreds of amazing nurses that are visiting people at home. And so they came up with this idea and I said, yes, of course I'll do it because, you know, we need to make the money to keep them going. Yeah. And, uh, and there is a special guest, isn't there? There is a special guest, yes. I'm reluctant to say who it is. But... I thought you were going to announce it exclusively today. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I will, I will. Um, I was going to keep it a secret, and then I thought, no, it'd be great if everyone knew about it. So, yes, so my little prince, um, also known as Matt Horn, will be <laughs> joining me on the quiz just to say hello. We'll have a little chat and bit of banter, yes, yeah, so that'll be nice. That's yeah. a brilliant That's idea. Brilliant. And so how does it work? Because um, do you pick the questions yourself? Uh, no, no, I'm not a quiz writer, no. I'm not a quizzy. Um, no, it, the, the, all the questions have been written for me. And so um, I'll just um, hopefully read them out, you know, have a you know, few laughs with, with the people that are on the quiz. And what, we're just hoping that hundreds and hundreds of people are going to come along and pay a fiver um, and maybe donate more if they can. Yeah. Well, this is a, a charity that's very close to your heart, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, my mum was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Uh, uh, it was 24 years ago now, but, um, you know, uh, it still resonates with me as it was a, a really frightening moment. And Marie Curie just stepped in and cared for her and helped her because they, they give counselling. Um, they'll visit you at home. They've got their hospices. My mom was taken into the hospice quite a few times. Um, they gave her, you know, mental help as well as, you know, physical help. And they were just amazing. Uh, their kindness and, I don't know, their hospices are just so warm and... Um, Positive. The Positive places. Yeah, exactly, exactly. In a time of crisis when you feel so frightened, there's somebody there that you can talk to. Um, and so I, I help them all I can, yeah. And you think, actually, that you noticed your mum felt the difference by having them there for her? Oh, yes. She was so frightened, understandably, when you're given that diagnosis. She went to the hospital and came home with a completely different attitude because the, the doctor she saw there was so so kind and the staff were lovely. Um, and it just made made so much difference, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, well, that's, uh, that's Marie Curie. The other thing that you've done, because you've been very busy in lockdown, um, you've, um, you've done a podcast as well, On the Couch. This is hosted by bereavement specialist Jason Davidson. Um, and these, that's quite, it's another quite unique thing to do. Yeah, well, that podcast is important because I think um, just oh, coping with life, particularly now, there's such a lot of sadness around us. Um, I think it's good, you know, to have those kind of things that we can listen to and be helped by anything we can do just to get each other through these difficult times, I think is important. Yeah. And what about, um, what about the, uh, the, the play that you've done? These are uh, unprecedented, short, short digital plays. Yeah, well, that was fun. Um, uh, my partner, Michael Elwin, and myself, um, and Catherine Parkinson, who was also in lockdown in her house, we filmed a 10-minute film 
um, on our uh, phones. And we were directed on our iPads on uh, Zoom by uh, Jeremy Heron, the director. So it was a very interesting process. And I had to do my own costumes and makeup and we had to film ourselves. And it was, um, but it was great. Yeah, so I think that's all being cut together. Um, Headlong did 14 10 minute films right. and hopefully they'll be shown um, at the end of this month and into June. Yeah, so it was... Um, Keeping you busy, well, but you're, lots of people have been getting creative and you also, have you been making puppets? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a child still. And um, when I was a kid, I loved um, Punch and Judy. So I've actually um, made this fellow. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, so there he is. How Hello. have you made that? <laughs> Um, it's papier-mâché, um, and it, you know, didn't cost much to make. He was, um, I used a potato inside, and then... <laughs> this is so clever. <laughs> plasticine, and, and, and then you put your flour and water and your bits of old newspaper on, and then paint him. And the great thing was just to use just only things that I had yeah. in my flat. So I couldn't go shopping, so... so. And then you cut the potato out, obviously. He's not cut the potato in there now. <laughs> so is this, this is purely to keep yourself occupied? Yeah, I like doing things like this. And normally I don't have time. Um, and so I thought, oh, I'm going to do it. And I've got a little grandson. And I showed him on FaceTime and he was a bit scared of him. Yeah, <laughs> I bet, I bet. He sort of went, I said, here's, here's Mr Punch. And he went... <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. It's lovely to talk to you. Thank you very much indeed. Great. Take care. Good luck with the quiz. Uh, it's Thursday at 8.15. That's the quiz. And you can go to the Marie Curie Facebook page or you can visit mariecurie.org.uk forward slash quiz if you want to take part. All right. Thank uh, you. Thank you.